Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, I'm sorry that I wasn't able to get a vlog out yesterday. Um, we were traveling back from Phoenix and um, we had a long layover in Dallas. Our flight was delayed for a considerable amount of time and we didn't get back till like 3 in the morning. Sadly, I was intending on getting this out yesterday, but it's probably not going to come out until today, which actually by the time you're seeing it might be tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, many of you guys have responded to the Mavic is dead video and there's been a lot of comments and questions on whether or not I got it running again. Um, people having difficulty with iOS 11 and the the DJI Go 4 app, or at least the latest iteration of that, and um, what the solution was, and if I've gotten it fixed. So some people have had problems with the iPhone 7 with the new iOS update and the app and connecting to their Mavic. Others have had trouble with their iPhone 10, some with the iPhone 8. So I actually have the 8 Plus and spent three weeks tinkering and learned a few things as I did. And so I'm going to explain the process that I went through of elimination and how I finally got it back to work. But right now I'm headed over to the Apple store because yep, my buddy Ryan is up to his old tricks again and, uh, and s sent me something. So we're gonna go see what that is because I have no idea, but excited to find out. And we'll probably do an unboxing of some sort. And so headed over to the Apple store now to see what that is. And uh, let's go see. I'm gonna do the reveal so you guys get to see it first. Then you'll see a true, real life reaction to whatever it might be. So, this is kind of fun, actually. I can get used to doing this. <laughs> right there's Jeremy. He's got it in a bag, so I don't know what it is. So you guys are gonna see what it is first. So, this is gonna be pretty cool. Okay, so start right in the blank area. Okay, so here it is. Here's the bag. We're gonna set it down on the desk and let you guys peek in there and see what it is before I get to see it. So. Okay, so you guys get to see what it is first. So. Here we go, I'm gonna set the tripod up and we'll get a real a real live reaction on on what this on what this thing is. Okay, there's the bag. It's a long bag, a long box. Long box. I still haven't seen it yet. Uh, I don't know what a long what, what would come in a long box. Three. This is awesome. That's cool. Brian, you outdid yourself, man. I can't wait to get this home and do a full unboxing and do a full comparison. I know you're mad because I'm wearing this <laughs> and this is going to replace that. So just a better, better experience for the whole ecosystem which is also known as Apple um, Series 3. It's pretty legit. And I'm excited for the Star Wars themes to come out. So, Star Wars themes, movies like within two weeks. You should have a theme on that. Pretty awesome. So, 
So big thank you to Jeremy. Thank you, sir. That was awesome. Thanks. Yeah, it's very cool. All right. Well, so I guess I suppose I, I suppose I should get rid of the Samsung watch, which now I have a replacement for. Dude, I'm, I, so I'm, I'm gonna have to let you guys go for a second because I gotta go call Ryan, and uh, man, that is just too much. All right, so we're back, and we're talking about the Mavic Pro and the issues with iOS 11. So many of you saw the, an earlier video where I talked about the Mavic Pro. Once I got the iPhone 8, iOS 11, and the DJI Go 4 app just were not communicating, but it's good to go now. And I've been able to fly, I've done downtown shots of Austin, of Dallas, and around Texas. So there you have it. That was the solution using the main port here, making sure you disconnect the mini port here. This is the iPhone 8 Plus running iOS 11.2 and the most current version of the DJI Go 4 app. And it's working, it's working fine. So again, if you have an issue, this guy might be the culprit. Just try it. Just pull this out. Try using the main cable here. Make sure you have the latest update in the app. Make sure you have your latest iOS. And I'm hearing more and more people actually getting this resolved with those types of solutions using this main port here. But this guy was the culprit. I've ditched that and, it's, and since doing so, everything's worked fine. So. We're able to get back in the air, which is great. So just wanted to share that with you guys because I got a lot of comments on, hey, did you get it fixed? How did you fix it? I'm having the same problems. Um, and you, if you peruse the boards, there's numerous comments of different things that people have tried. And I just try to simplify that here all in one video. So these are the steps. Try this cable. Number one. Number two, check to see if you're on iOS 11.2. I've heard it's worked on 11.1, but this is my experience. So I'm just sharing with, with you with what worked for me. Different cable, iOS.2. Making sure you have the DJI 4 Go app, the latest release, as well as the latest firmware, and everything should be working as designed and you should be back up in the air getting your your photos and your video and all the fun stuff that comes along with that so you guys are awesome thank you so much for watching hopefully this video was helpful and it helps resolve some of those issues for you if you're not subscribed to the channel please hit that subscribe button smash that like button on this video if you so choose and don't forget to hit the bell notification so you'll be notified anytime a new video drops. And until next time, cheers.